Hi everybody, I'm uh, going to try something new today. I'm excited, a little bit scared about. I'm going to attempt to bail with the horses, with a baler that has a kicker on it, with a wagon behind it. I've had this cart here for several years and it's got a 13 horsepower motor on it. I have never expected it would be able to bail hay and I guess I'm not too confident it will even now. But my Amish neighbor wanted to borrow the baler the other day and I let him use my other baler. It's the Heston baler. It's a pretty good sized one. And I asked him how he was going to power it and he said he was just going to put a 13 horsepower motor on it. I said, you think a 13 horsepower motor would run that baler? He said, yeah, it did on our other ones. I said, well, I've got this cart here with a 13 horsepower motor. It'd be a lot simpler if you just use that, if you think that would work. So we did. And he took it down there and he, of course, the way they do it, they have to bring the hay loose to the barn and the baler stationary at the barn. So then they would fork it into the baler so he could control how much hay goes in pretty good. So he had a little troubles. There was a kicker on it that didn't work. So we had to loosen up that a lot so that the bales would go through easier. But he said it bailed fairly good. So I have decided just for laughs, I'm going to try this baler. It's a smaller baler, but it has a kicker on it and to see if it would work. A friend of mine stopped in this morning, Will, and he said he helped uh, another Amish in another community that actually bales in the field. And he said they set up a 13 horsepower motor on their baler. He says it did not work with the kicker. Every time a, the kicker was engaged to throw a bale, it stalled the motor. So he came and looked at mine and he said, uh, well, that's a lot different. That has a gear reduction on it. And yes, it does. So I want to explain that to you and your guess is as good as mine, but we're going to try it today. Okay, here's the baler. It's an older 273 New Holland and it has a kicker on it. It does not have the Hilux hydraulics to turn the kicker so it's just stationed straight which is just fine I've been using it for the last few days actually it's been bailing quite well it's a old old one I picked up it's not in the best of shape but it works but uh, I don't know how it's going to work with this cart so this cart another guy asked me about this cart it's got a 13 horsepower motor on it and it's a fairly new Honda or some offset of a Honda. It's a, oh, it is a Honda. It's a 390, 390 Honda. But it does have a gear reduction setup. I don't even know where I bought this unit. Um, it's it's got a pulley with a with a belt that I have a tensioner on when I kick it in gear, and then it's got a power takeoff with the with the sprockets to to. For the gear reduction so that has always worked pretty good on my little tether that i've used um, but this is a whole nother ball game now one problem this cart is not set up anywhere near like i'd like it it is such that the tongue is way 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 too close to the ground and right here we're in a bad spot but um, i'm hoping in the field it might work it's the pickup I think we'll be okay even at this angle but anyways this is what we have now Ken has been used on this quite a bit with the tether and but he's still a horse that will will freak out a little bit for some different things so I'm gonna just start it up and then I'm gonna kick it into gear and see what happens I was expecting more of a show from Ken when I kicked it into gear, but he was good here. But when I kicked into gear in the field, you watch closely there, he'll give us a show then.
So I have, careful, I have Ken and Lady. I chose these two for bailing because they are my slowest horses. And I, years ago I bailed with a baler that had a motor on it. John Deere 14T, you know, one of them old John Deere balers that worked so good. And it was fine, it worked fine. I even put a wagon behind and had somebody loading it. I didn't have a kicker on it. But the, the problem I had with the horses then, and I'm still concerned about it now, careful, 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 is they walk too fast. And so um, I know that there's the jarring motion too of it going back and forth when they're standing still. But as long as you're moving, it's not that bad. So we can live with that, but I just need horses to walk slow for the, um, I usually have some fairly good hay and it's thick windrow and it will only take so much, especially some of these older bailers. But I am still very concerned whether or not it'll work at all, but I'm going to try it. And of course my tongue setup is way, way, way too low. But for just to try it, I think it'll be okay. Now, my field is nice and flat, so it's not like it's hard to pull. So that's why I'm just using two horses. If I was to do it all day long and on any hills, of course, two horses would not work too well. But I'm as much curious about this motor and my gear reduction as anything to see if it's going to kick a bale out the baler. So we'll find out very soon. So we're going to start it up and see if they go crazy. Ken is just not too sure of this contraption behind him. But it didn't take too long and he settled right down.
it was not that warm out, and Ken does not usually sweat, but his nerves were working on him with his baler, and he's sweating today. It was such a beautiful day to be out working today. The fall um, colors are starting to come out and it's just mighty nice out here. We ended up with a total of 67 bales. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I would have believed it without seeing it, but that bale worked just fine. I was very pleased. There's several things I would do to improve it if I was using a, a lot, but uh, um, biggest thing is the, the hitch is way too low to the ground, but that's fixable. So anyways, I'm just very pleased with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video.